Yolanda Hadid. Are you actually mad? Because now, now I'm going to go mad. Do you understand? Now, now I'm going to go mad. Hey guys, it's Marab Moradi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again. Daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. Head over to my recent Love Island interview. I would appreciate it. My second interview, the link I'll attach in at the end of the video. Go and watch it. Support it. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. So news has come out that Yolanda Hadid allegedly lied about Zayn Malik and, want, and to do so because of one specific reason, guys. White women are gonna white women, do you understand? And that because she wanted him deported from the country and did not like him at all. This is the same woman who commissioned that surgery on someone like Bella Hadid at the age of 14, do you understand? Somebody who doesn't like Zayn Malik at all. So, um, oh my days. Five months later, guys, the story has completely turned. There are allegations that Hadid fabricated the entire situation. Here's what you need to know. Hadid allegedly made up the entire story about, Malik, uh, about Zayn Malik because she did not like him. Things seemed to calm down for both Hadid and Malik a few months after the initial report was published and they've been staying low since. Sources told People Magazine that um, Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid have broken up following his alleged altercation. Their daughter is, rep um, their daughter is reportedly co-parent by the two. On March 10th, a blind item submitted to Bravo and Cocktails flips Hadid's claims about Zayn Malik. Word on the street from her former assistant is that this ex-housewife and mother of top models made the entire thing up about her daughter's baby daddy. She didn't care for him at all. Pretty Little Liar is the name of the post. Another blind suggests Hadid had a bigger plan. Despite appearing happy when her new daughter announced she was expected a baby girl, another source told Bravo and Cocktails that Hadid had a larger plan to completely get rid of Zayn Malik from her life. Pretty Little Liar isn't all she's cracked up to be. She desired that he be deported back to England so that she could be free of him. In other words, he won't be able to visit the US. The blind reads deported. I completely made up the story, but since he's not exactly sober, it's a lot easier to get on him. She had his entourage in her pocket, so to speak. It's pretty bleak. I don't believe his baby mama daughter was aware of the scheme. The blind concludes, I do not believe her sister did either. But am I surprised that she wanted to deport Zayn Malik and didn't like him and made the whole thing up? No, I'm not. This is the same woman who tried to do some kind of intervention with Zayn Malik and wanted to, you know, take the blood out and do something about it. Some witchcraft BS nonsense. I don't play with that shh because that stuff is very much real and crazy. This woman is weird. We've seen videos of how she wants to control the diets of her two daughters, wants her to be so thin and so weird, making up this whole thing. Allegedly, of course, this is all alleged information, but I definitely believe it because of the way this woman has moved with her daughters in a public stratosphere. The fact that she wanted to take this man away from his daughter, you have a lot of waste men in in this world, you understand? A lot of waste men in this world to deport this man back to the UK to be away from his daughter and the fact that he can't have visitation rights or even ever come to the US to look after his child. You want the child to grow up fatherless and have issues and you want to repeat some cycle of nonsense and control and manipulation. I hate people. Police, come and arrest her, please. Somebody come and arrest Yolanda because this woman is so weird and it's irate in me because white women are also always gonna a white woman. And don't nobody say this is not a white woman issue because this is, because there's been historical evidence of a lot of white women who do this to black and brown individuals in several countries to when they want to manip manipulate the court systems because there's a subconscious or conscious bias towards them and it favors them. And it's very sad and disgusting to see that this whole entire story has flipped. And this is what is apparently going on allegedly through these blind items that have been submitted. Several articles are beginning to report this or other YouTube accounts and channels and I think that this word needs to get out there that somebody so sly like this damn fool this clown wants to play and do something like this God forbid you understand God forbid we rebuke any of this nonsense energy coming our way please I don't want this witchcraft nonsense get out of my life I'm not here for someone like this who plays like you know runs around with the witchcraft wants to be done up blood nonsense stay away from me stay away from my damn house I'm about to close this damn don't want to end this video because we don't want no negativity spirits and that nonsense that demonic energy that this woman wants to play around with like the the plans and staying on top of stuff i'm over it what what weirdness guys what weirdness nonsense nonsense subscribe to the channel click that button guys there you have it story been flipped are we surprised i'm really not guys head over to my love island interview i would appreciate it go and watch that support me guys i would appreciate it go share it head over to my tiktok like my latest instagram post it's constant videos for me even though i've had some you know constant busy or stressful days guys i'm still coming to you guys with daily and consistent content consistent and persistent baby just like yolanda hadid trying to ruin zimbalik's life and i'm not here for it weirdo waste man anyway subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon